Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is my final update for my nail polish project pan for 2020. So what I did this year was I pulled about, I went back and watched my videos. I was supposed to pull four colors every quarter and then decide, like try and use one or two up and then decide if I was going to continue using those or replace them. <laughs> It just kind of went for a free-for-all after that but again I did do like a refresh every quarter um, and I did do my updates like mid quarter so there was only like seven updates I think throughout the year and yeah let's just get straight into it what I'm gonna do is just review what I had for this last quarter and then we'll do like a quick overview of everything of all the, the nail polishes I used plus all the stuff I finished and wrap this project up there's really not a whole lot to say for this past quarter. I really focused on finishing this nail polish. This is the polish, uh, Jula Polish in Elena, and I finished it. I tried to scrape it so you could see. Hopefully you can see, like, I really tried to scrape the sides down so you could see, like, it is finished. Um, I had thinner in it. I don't know why it's, like, so stuck to the sides. Um, I even, like, use, like, a thing to sort of scrape it down just to see how much was left. And, yeah, it's finished. So, yay, I did finish this polish. Um, I do like this color. I will miss it. It's, like, a nice, like, taupey mushroom type color. It's, like, a nice neutral color but still color. Um, and, yeah, I'll miss that one. Since my last update, I did not wear this one at all. <laughs> this is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. So I did draw a line on it on the side there, but it has not changed. So this is going to be a consistent theme for the rest of these because I was really, really focusing on finishing that one polish. Another one that I did not wear <laughs> since my last update was this Jula uh, polish in Claudette. It's a really pretty color. I just did not wear it, but I did put the line on the side so I know, at least I know where it's sitting now. Um, I don't think when I did my last updates, or at least when I introduced these, I did not have lines on them. Oops. The next polish I did wear um, at least once since my last update, and this is in the shade Kendra. It's another julep one. I have way too many julep polishes. Um, I had a subscription back when they used to do the nail polish subscription. I don't know if there's a line. Yeah, so I drew a line on the side there. It's ever so slightly below that line. This is such a pretty color. I actually quite like this. This is a color that I talked about. For whatever reason, I'm not drawn to it in the bottle, but when I do put it on, I'm like, man, that's such a nice color. This next polish is like the exact same in terms of like, for whatever reason I don't pull this. It's another jewel polish in the shade Isla. And I did draw a line on this one, but ugh, you can probably see now there is use. I think you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Um, there is definitely use in this now. It's somewhere right about there. And yeah, this is such a pretty color. It's like a nice deep cream navy blue that I just... I don't know, I really like it, but I never wear it. Uh, so I need to try and wear this one a little bit more. I also did wear this with the top coat. This, um, it's not a top coat. It's the Sally Hansen Gleam Supreme. And these like, look really, really nice together. It gives kind of like a starry night sky kind of look. So quite enjoy that. This color is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Flirt. I did not wear this <laughs> since I last filmed. I think in my last update I was wearing this. Um, and I think I, I might have worn it once after that, uh, but I didn't take any pictures. Um, again, really, really pretty color. I still can't tell. I can sort of see. It's actually right where it's at right now. You won't be able to see it, I don't think. Maybe you can a little bit. It's right at that, like, label. So... Some progress on that now. And then what I'm wearing right now is this one because again, it was another polish that I was like, wow, I didn't use this at all. <laughs> like at all <laughs> until today um, or yesterday, I guess I did my nails yesterday. This is the Sally Hansen Toughest, uh, Tough Taupe 560. I don't know why this is called taupe. It's more of like a, I don't know. I would say like a gray purple color. Um, and it looks darker on the nails, I think, than in the bottle. Um, it's a nice color. It's okay. I don't know if I'd ever purchase this one again, to be honest. I don't really like the formula of this one. This is the one I think that you get at a, like the dollar stores. Um, yeah, it's a little different than the formula of the other ones. It's kind of thinner and I don't like the brush. It's got a little thin brush and I prefer like a wider brush. Like the Julep, Julep brushes are wide. I don't know why, but I like a wide brush because I feel like I can literally just do the three stroke thing and it works and it's done. For even, like, I have tiny hands and tiny nails, but for some reason I like a wider brush. So, the other thing I wanted to update on, just because I've made some good progress on it, and this, it wasn't intentional, um, like I wasn't trying to pan it or anything, but this is the Essence, uh, the gel top coat, and it's probably about halfway done. 
So hopefully you can see that, so we're halfway done. This is a really nice top coat. If you're looking for a really cheap top coat, it's not quick drying or anything, but it gives a really, really nice finish. Again, I'm wearing it today, and it does give a really nice shiny, shiny finish. So quite a good top coat. Um, and it's pretty affordable, I think, compared to other brands like Essie. So that's the recap of the last quarter. Again, not exciting. Not as bad as the last update, maybe. <laughs> maybe better on par as my last update. I knew I said that in my last update that it was like a non-update because I just, I burnt out on this project. I felt, I just, I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> I was done. I burnt out. It was too much. Maybe there's just too many other things going on. And this was the one thing that had to fall by the wayside. So yeah, the last quarter was probably the weakest quarter of all of them. But let's do a recap. I'll do like a recap of everything and I'll show you all the, the polishes that I used and then the things that I finished up. And then we'll just come back and wrap this video up. Okay, hopefully everything looks pretty good here in this shot. So this is just everything that I've used this year or bought. Uh, well, I've used everything here. So these are all the things that I've bought this year that are nail things. This is that uh, dip and polish that I bought. These are the press on nails that I bought. Um, these are all sort of like top coats and I guess these are sort of the color things. These are all the top coat and bottom coat type things that I finished. Um, these are the three, so I finished three colored polishes this year and then this is the one polish that I've decided to declutter and then all of these are what I used throughout the year. So these are the other top coats I used. These are the polishes I used in January, the, like are the first quarter. These are the polishes I used in the second quarter, like in addition to whatever else I finished. Um, this is where you see things going out of control. These are the polishes I used in the third quarter. And then this is what I had just wrapped up with in the fourth quarter. So yeah, this is everything that happened in 2020 for my nail polish, nail polish project pan. So that's it. That is my nail polish project pan for 2020. I'm actually quite happy with my polish collection now. If you go back to my older videos, I think if you look back at the end of like, or the beginning of 2019, that's when I had like a lot of stuff um, and I was trying to whittle it down. That's where I was like using every single polish all year long and, and decluttered some and, and used some up. And I feel like I'm at a reasonable level now that I'm okay adding, like I'm okay buying new polishes now because I feel like I've been actually using polishes. I feel like I'm, I'm allowed to do that now. <laughs> so I mean I have bought a few things, I've, I've already talked about that, um, and there's definitely stuff I'm definitely looking at, I want to buy some stuff from Holo Taco and I want to buy some stuff from, I don't know if you say it as INLP or if you actually pronounce it out as I, no, I L N P. I love nail polish. I think that's what it stands for. I see that a lot on Reddit and a lot of the colors I see from that brand. I'm like, Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. So I need to investigate that brand and is, can I get it in Canada and how expensive it is? I don't know. I'll have to find out cause that will definitely like play into what I do or do not buy from that brand. Um, anyway, that's my update for this year. I definitely will be doing a nail polish project pan for next year. It's going to be a little different. Um, it's actually going to be a little bit more simpler um, because this year I was kind of doing like panning and uh, rouletting or like shopping my stash. Next year's project is just going to be a straight up project pan. I feel like I need to simplify some things and that's one of the things that I'm going to simplify. I'm going to do a straight up uh, nail polish project pan for next year. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.